welcome to the 26th episode of this podcast. If you enjoyed, please share and follow me on Instagram at L-U-B-I-T-S-A-Z-U or on YouTube at The Points to Ponder. Your support is greatly appreciated. Have you ever thought about why hugging someone feels so comforting, especially in times of distress? The thymus gland is situated in the upper chest, behind the breastbone, and in front of the ascending aorta, a major blood vessel of the heart. This area is called mediastinum, between the lungs. The word thymus translates from Greek to mean soul. This area is also where our heart chakra is found, connecting the spiritual and the physical aspects of our being. The thymus gland plays a crucial role in the body by producing white blood cells that protect against viral infections. An interesting aspect of this organ is that it is the only one that decreases in size as we get older. This shrinking is due to a process called involution, where the T cells produced by the thymus are replaced by fat cells making older individuals more vulnerable to immune disorders, cancers, and infections. Researchers have identified a stromal progenitor cell that transforms into fat with age and are exploring ways to regenerate it. It is essential to understand how to support a thymus gland and prevent its deterioration. Stress, viral infections, and prolonged recovery periods can significantly harm its function. From my own encounters, I frequently experienced intense discomfort in that region during times of emotional turmoil or feeling mistreated. If you find yourself in a scenario where a narcissist is depleting your energy or you're constantly giving without receiving, it is advisable to exit promptly. Such stress can have detrimental effects on your well-being, with instances of it leading to autoimmune conditions. While we may say, my soul hurts or my heart hurts, it is essentially the stress affecting our thymus gland. If you ever find yourself in that situation, consider making changes in your life and discovering a sense of purpose. A few years ago, I came across a book called Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod where he shares his personal struggles and how he overcame them. He introduces the concept of savers, which are daily activities to be done before anything else in the morning. By altering your routine in this way, you can bring more organization to your life and thoughts. Each activity is meant to be done for 10 minutes, allowing you to complete all six within an hour. The first activity, S, stands for silence, which is often neglected, but essential. This can involve a meditation early in the morning. Personally, I have found it beneficial to place one palm on my forehead and the other on the back of my head while meditating as it helps me relax and quiet my mind. Another thing I did is placing both palms on my upper chest where the thymus is located. The remaining activities include affirmations, reading, visualization, exercise, and jotting down thoughts and ideas on which you can reflect every now and then. Eating sulfur-rich cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, bok choy, and Brussels sprouts can support the health of your thymus gland. Consider taking supplements if necessary. Regular exercise is also important for maintaining overall health and supporting the thymus gland. Remember to pay attention to your intuition when it's time to move on to the next chapter in your life. As they say, your soul knows when it's time to close the chapter. Listen to it. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.